morning. Happy New Year. Well, it's just gone 5 a.m. and I'm up and about. As some of you may know, if you follow the channel, in June I'll be taking on what is affectionately known as the fan dance, which is the SAS selection course on Penny Fan at Brecon Beacons. So I'm out training and have been for the last few months. So in, instead of taking you out on an overnighter, I thought I'd take you out with me on a 10 mile training hike. It's quite brisk, but soon warm up. So the reason I'm taking on this challenge is uh, to help raise money for the Epilepsy Society. There is a link in the description if you want to help support me in my challenge. Oh. So we're going to be walking a bit, running a bit. The criteria is I've got to be carrying 35 pounds plus water and food which is what I've got on at the moment in my uh, Savota Jakari large pack oh. just heading through my local park I want to go under the main road under town then we'll be heading into my local forest So this will be probably sub three hours, hopefully. My record for the 10.67 mile hike is two hours 37. Not sure how, whether we'll get any PBs today, but we'll give it a crack. It's, uh, Temperature's about zero degrees. Seems to be a lot thirstier than 
normal today. Maybe that bag of twiglets last night wasn't such a good idea. all in the legs. Okay, it's the first forest track now and uh, first kind of steep bit. So the trick is you push the clutch in, free wheel all the way down, or expend a little bit more energy and apply a little bit of brake. Well, it's actually quite slippy today, so I'm applying a bit of brake. Well, it's the first hour of the day. Falling over here. Wouldn't be great. There we go. Just crossing the culvert now. And then we got the first uphill section. We hit the three mile mark a minute ago and 43 minutes. Okay, oh, we're well truly into the forest now. What is known as the mile. This is nice just to get off that horrible mud on a solid path. Oh. So the time we lost getting up that muddy hill will make a little bit of that back here. I'm not normally blowing like this when I get to the top of that hill. But the mud's so bad at the moment just like that, it takes that extra 15-20% effort. I'm not expecting any rain. Sky's quite clear, so at least that's one bonus. Probably jinxed it now. So we're now at the back end of the forest, heading down into the valley. It's really slippy here. Slightly downhill, gets a bit steeper further up, probably ankle deep in mud. Not the easiest thing to, to run through. Being dark, sometimes you can't see the bigger puddles. Oh god, this is grim. Just trying to pick a dry line. It's difficult.
4k it's five miles one hour 15 minutes so we're still looking at 15 minute miles where we make up on the run we lose when we walk it's kind of a bit of a fine balancing game really so we're in the darkest depths of the woods now no cell phone service I'm actually using a satellite beacon uh, a spot gen 4x I'm trying so that's tracking my movements every 10 minutes although you do need a clear line of sight to the sky for it to send your location you can also send pre-written messages as well to up to 10 contacts and uh, there's an emergency SOS button that will alert like the national international rescue not Thunderbirds but I guess the equivalent of and we're back to the mud and the puddles Okay, so we've just hit six miles, one hour 31. We're on the narrowest part of the track now, really boggy. This is where I lose most time. Um, I have to be really careful here. It's right next to a river, so I don't want to end up like that. Oh, I can't see now, for fuck's sake. pitfalls of trying to film in the dark I guess it's my own fault so this brings us to the bottom end of the forest oh, there's puddles everywhere and uh, steep incline back up to that one mile track Okay, so we just hit seven miles, one hour 51. So we kind of lost a good six minutes off that back section. So this last three miles is all about trying to make that up, which today is going to be a, a stiff ask. Slow and steady wins the race. So, the hill was really muddy. That was awful. And then, headed back onto that mile. It's a nice path. We've just turned off that now. Heading back down towards the culvert we crossed earlier. So we're now heading out the, heading out the forest. We're back to the cakey mud and puddles. Oh. I haven't even got the energy to avoid them now.
sun's coming up now. This is my favorite time of the morning in the forest. So we're out the forest now, heading back to the road. Well, loads of deer. Uh, This road gets really tough. Just testament to those special forces guys. Their level of fitness is, it's a different level of fitness. It's superhero fitness those guys have got. And the willpower strength of mind that they have is incredible. Eight miles, two hours, five minutes, so we've knocked a minute off already. Oh. It's gonna be a beautiful morning. So, if you found this video through the SF Fan Dance, then normally my YouTube channel is about wild camping. So if that's your thing, you know, why not give it a like and a subscribe. I'll also be doing some more videos of my attempted training any of you guys who have done the fan dance before and are experts in the training for this you know comment give me some tips that would be really helpful just hit the nine mile mark at two hours, 20 minutes. So 1.6 miles to go. Made up a bit of time. This is what this is where it really counts. Okay, well that's the 10 mile mark. Two hours, 33 minutes. I always aim for the two and a half hours, but I think we're still feeling the effects of Christmas. Just gotta train harder. Stop being such a pussy. So point six of a mile left go now. It's really burning now. Okay, 
Okay, final 100 meters. Going down the thing. Vlogging down the main high street, looking like the right idiot. So kind of a sprint finish. 10.6 miles today. Oh. This will literally just finish me off. It's rush hour as well. Well, thanks for joining me on my morning training session. So that was 10.63 miles in two hours, 43 minutes, I think. A bit quicker than last week. So, uh, as I said before, I'm raising money for the Epilepsy Society. Um, there's a link in the description. I know it's quite quick after Christmas, but there's plenty of time. The event's not till June. So, uh, you know, any help will be greatly appreciated. 100% um, merino wool hats um, are now back in stock and you can order those off the website and the link again is in the description. So everyone have a great day, it's goodbye from me and goodbye from him.